Gotta go help him. Yeah, that's definitely not regular Herschel. Sorry! Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! And you! You didn't even try to help. I thought I could help them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now... Please... Just go. Get out! And never come back. Awkward. Had to make it if you want it. Well, that was an uncomfortable moment. Jeez. Man, this whole like season right here takes kind of long. And it's far enough. I may end up having to cut this up into several episodes if it feels like it takes too long, but don't worry, I'll. As long as you guys are enjoying it, I'll do more. I'm sure that it may be a little bit boring just because you guys may have seen it before, but I hope that you uh, still enjoy it. All right? Look! Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fucking idiot. Fuck! It's like right on cue as soon as he said fuck. Run! We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. Uh... I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. 
No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle it. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here. And none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Lee, stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. It's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! Damn. Jesus! I'm confused. Oh, thank you. That was nice. Man. You okay? Just great, thanks. Was I supposed to not protect her? Was it even an opportunity for me to not protect her? They're gonna get in. Shut up. Roof too? Jeez, how? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh. Dad! Ah! Ah! Yeah, so you get you fuck. Being a dick. <laughs> Was he the one bitten? No, don't be crazy. <laughs> it's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. I just started saying that, oh yeah, he's bitten, we should take him out. Pills are. It's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Nitroglycerin. Everyone else should get comfy and look- Isn't that like some sort of explosive? For a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, 
You won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. Lily and Larry. He's will work on getting you your medicine. Cunts. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get ah. him those pills. She doesn't like being sidelined. Alright, let's see. Uh, let's fix what you're having an issue with. You messing around with there. A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. How do you flip it around? Yeah, no, that's not it. Figure it out, huh? <sighs> Give me one moment, everyone. Okay, sorry, that was my boss. Let us resume. Either way, I need batteries, so it doesn't even. None of that shit matters. Um. Need to find some batteries. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Yeah, I'll talk to everyone in a minute. Let me take everything. So we got some food, right? We got, um. Not going back there. Not yet. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Not gonna give him anything just yet. Take another energy bar. Let's see what's this? Uh, no, not you. I swear there are batteries around here somewhere, damn it. I just can't remember where. Well, let's examine the food box. Maybe there's food in there. I can't remember. Nobody got a chance to donate anything. No, I guess not. Welcome. All right. Um. Batteries got to be around here somewhere. Uh, no. Come on. God damn it. Where are the fucking batteries? Alright. Get some rest, hun. How can I with those? It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Okay. So we got that. I got one for you. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. And I guess I'll give one to these fucking cunts over here. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Fucking dickhead. Um. Alright, let's just get to the back, I guess. Maybe we'll find the batteries in there. Loading. I can't. I can't think about them in here. Oh, they all got killed. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Oh. That's sad. Find anything? Just 
Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. Uh. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy. And the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Ah, she gave him the eyes. The eyes that she wants the do. Sorry. I just... There's something wrong with me. I've been playing too many different types of video games today. I think we're, we're at a good pace right now, though. We're not pacing in a bad way, so... I'll have four different things to show you guys. And I'm quite happy about that. This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you wouldn't have. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> she went cross-eyed. Kids? No. You don't have a family? Um... What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. <laughs> All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? blame them. Why? Did you fight? I fight with my mom sometimes. We didn't fight. We just didn't talk for a while. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Ow! Oh, Damn, that was okay? bad. My finger! Is it bleeding? A little. That's happened to me before. Just like the slightest cut and just blood starts oozing out. Uh... How cute, a little band-aid. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. 
Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. She's gonna get an infection. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll 